What's up, buddy? Welcome back to another video. So recently, Zakaria has been playing very well for Chelsea. Obviously, we know that he is signed to Juventus, but is currently on loan to Chelsea with an option to buy of around 30 million euros. And it has raised a bit of a question in the Juventus community. Should Juventus be comfortable with him leaving if Chelsea do indeed decide to sign him? So Zakaria was also signed on loan from Chelsea in the summer, but he hasn't really played until around October or November of obviously last year. He was benched and benched and benched constantly wasn't getting played i'm not too sure why perhaps potter thought he wasn't really gonna fit the system considering he was signed basically for tukel and then obviously tukel got sacked and they hired potter and he maybe wasn't the player that potter thought he needed his first match for chelsea was actually against dinamo zagreb which was the last match of the champions league group stages he actually scored in that match which kind of shows you that maybe you should have had a bit more opportunity for chelsea and then he played in the efl cup against man city and now that the season has restarted after the world cup he has been constantly getting minutes for Chelsea he played against Bournemouth he played against Nottingham Forest and he played versus City a very very excellent game against City if anyone watched that match and as I said before I raised the question should Juventus be comfortable letting him go now obviously if you do remember if you do rewind and go basically a year ago we do know that Zakaria was signed I'm pretty sure on the last day of the January transfer window he was signed from Borussia Mönchengladbach for around seven or eight million obviously it seemed like a signing which you know it didn't really have much risk involved it was better signing him in january than the summer because in the summer he would probably ask for a bigger wage or even go to a different club so signing him in january was overall a good thing we we're also lacking midfielders at the time we had a few injuries here and there so we did need a bit more depth in midfield he did struggle with injuries though but in the beginning of this season he did start for us in that 3-0 win against Osvaldo. he got benched then he started again then he got benched again then he got loaned out to chelsea now when we loaned him out to chelsea it was a bit surprising because obviously Obviously, he had only been here for six months, but it didn't seem like something that had a lot of risk because he was going to Chelsea with an option to buy, not an obligation. And the option was for 30 million euros. And also, we already had youngsters coming in. You know, we had Miretti, we had Fajoli, we had Orvella until obviously got loaned out and Paredes came in. So we did have a good midfield depth, so it wasn't really worth keeping him. He would stay on the bench a lot of time or maybe start playing when there were injuries, kind of like he is doing at Chelsea, to be honest. But it's not like he is a bad player either. He just fits a certain system which is a double pivot midfield which Chelsea are playing at the very moment that's why he is playing quite well the only problem for us is we don't play that system at the very moment we're playing a three at the back with five in midfield obviously two on the wings and three in central midfield which means that obviously there is no double pivot so you to play and he would kind of have to play box to box which he isn't really familiar with but again I don't think we should be too worried or concerned about him potentially joining Chelsea because at the end of the day we only signed him for 8 million euros and we will be getting 30 million back which is like 22 million profit so at the end of the day it's not like it is something crazy and so far it's not like he's been looking like a crazy world-class player like when De Bruyne left Chelsea and then he became a world-class player and then they regretted it so far he's been good for Chelsea but he hasn't been anything outstanding and even if Chelsea do indeed not decide to sign him he will be returning in the summer with Arthur also returning and Roveda also returning granted Paredes will probably leave but you can see that there is a lot of midfield depth and way too much midfield depth if you ask me either arthur either zakaria either one of the youngsters will have to be shipped off arthur preferably and possibly even zakaria so at the end of the day i don't think people should be too stressed with these zakaria performances it could simply be a purple patch and let's not forget he has basically been resting for the past what six months because he hasn't even played that much obviously he probably feels like he does have something to prove regardless so far there hasn't really been confirmation or any information that's really come out about whether or not chelsea are gonna sign him permanently but if he does contain like this you would think that chelsea will probably sign him to keep him at least as a role player regardless let me know your thoughts in the comments down below do you think Juventus should be concerned if chelsea do indeed decide to sign zakaria or is it not that big of a deal if you did enjoy this video make sure to let your subscribe more scout content i'll see you in the next one